Hey, it's Tony Zaza. Welcome back to my kitchen for another Foodie Fridays. This week we're going to use the Anova Precision Cooker again to do another piece, sous vide style. What we're going to do is since we've got Taco Tuesday coming up this week, I know you're watching this on Friday, but this is being done earlier in the week because it takes quite a while to do it. So for Taco Tuesday, we are going to sous vide a big old slab of flank steak that then we'll sear on the big grain egg and cut up for Taco Tuesday. But it's going to take a little bit. So, I'll show you the slab, I'll show you how we're gonna do this. It's gonna cook for about 24 hours, but I can assure you, you've never had carne asada this good before. If you're ready, let's get started. All right, so we've got it up to 129 degrees, which is where we want it, and we're gonna cook this for 24 hours at 129 degrees. Again, this is vacuum sealed, so it's safe. Don't let it scare you. And then this just goes into the water, and you want it to be submerged all the way down. And then we're gonna clip it in two spots. And we're off to the races. 24 hours from now, we'll pull this out, sear it on the big green egg, season it up. There is nothing else in there because this is gonna break it down and make it so tender. So it's literally just the flank steak in a vacuum sealed bag in 129 degrees water for 24 hours. Cannot wait to try this. Okay, so it's been 24 hours. We're gonna take a look at the flank steak. A couple things to be mindful of before we take the next step. You wanna fire up the big green egg. You wanna get it up to a pretty high heat. We're gonna put a cast iron skillet on there and then the flank steak is gonna be gently seared on both sides for about 30 seconds in butter. The key here is, once we remove this steak from the vacuum sealed baggie in the water, we don't want the steak to be wet when it hits the skillet. It's gotta be completely dry into the butter skillet, 30 seconds on each side, and that is it. And this thing should be perfect and beautiful and delicious. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and take this out. We'll cut into the uh, bag, remove the steak, make sure it's damp, and then throw it in the skillet with the butter, and we'll be eating here in just a few. So that's what it looks like. It's been at 129 degrees consistently for 24 hours. I'm just gonna remove this. Turn this off. All right, so I've got it on here now. Patting it dry. All right, we got the butter melting here in the skillet. We got a nice little sizzle going. So we've had some rain, so I've been back and forth, but essentially what you wanna do is get the skillet as hot as you can, throw a little butter in it, and then you want a hot skillet with butter, quick sear on each side about 30 seconds, and this actually looks pretty good considering the rain we've been fighting. Yeah. So this is ready to come off. Inside we go. So here it is, our sous vide flank steak that cooked in the Anova Precision Cooker for 24 hours and then we just did a quick sear with butter in a hot skillet on the egg. And the result is the most tender flank steak. If you've had flank steak before, you know it can be kind of chewy. This is, I mean, it's literally cutting like butter. It's beautiful. Look at that. That's something gorgeous. And you can season it now that it's out, whatever you want. You could do some fajitas. You can, a little wasi steak seasoning on it. So there you have it. We've got flank steak that we cooked in the Anova Precision Cooker, sous vide style for 24 hours. Quick butter sear in a cast iron skillet on the big green egg. Deliciousness. I haven't even tried it, at least on camera. So if you're ready, I got me a little piece cut here. Most tender flank steak ever. You could turn this into tacos. Like I say, you season it up with wasi steak season, whatever you want to do. This is money. Best flank steak you've ever had. All the instructions down below. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. Or if you have any recommendations for a future Foodie Friday, would love to hear from you. Also, please subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.